What's up guys, it is Kuday here today where we're playing uh, the reptile event. Well, playing, playing this game. Uh, no, this game mode does not really have much playtime. So, quest mode. We're back at it again, guys. I don't want to be here. No one wants to be here. You know, I, I they, they've got to look into bringing him to Netherrealm. Now, I know it doesn't make sense because he's an outworld character, but just p please bring him to Netherrealm. This is the better... Uh, part of the quest mode to farm because the times are better the rewards are better we have to go farm back here again we gotta is the reptile quest worth it for beginners it depends if you don't have a copy of reptile i do recommend you get just one copy just one one or two maybe three he doesn't even have to be highly fused right there are battles that he can be at fusion level zero just because his poison passive is so freaking strong. But the tricky part is knowing that it's going to take away uh, at least like a few days worth of grinding. And if you have to grind this many hearts up here that I have to grind, I mean, it could take away many, many, many days, even farming a one day quest. So people like jump to skipping quests. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be squip no, squipping. Don't be skipping quests because it's not worth it. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. What what is on my scorpion right now, by the way? Why is what? <laughs> oh, that would be why we have a 100%. So the more tower gear you have, epic and rare, it is super effective to getting that chance to 100%. I've said this before, but I want to repeat it again just for anyone who isn't aware that uh yeah, you're going to want to put as much tower gear on as possible to get that chance up. And I should be using Karo's Guidance. I, I always say I'm going to use it in another video, but then I don't. So let's go and actually use it. I don't even think I have Karo's Guidance maxed out. And that's just because I don't farm... Oh, what do I do have it maxed out? I don't typically farm quests that um, get it. Sad part about Reptile Event is I always want to do it on my beginner account, right? But I don't typically meet the requirements in time. And the sad part about that is I want to be able to do a video on my beginner account, but it'll take so many days to get there. I don't have all of quest mode unlocked on my beginner account, I don't think. I told you guys not to speed with souls, but then I started doing it. And I, I just want to preference one more time. I'm only doing this so we can get this video done as fast as possible. So we can do the reptile event straight away. That's the only reason I use souls on this uh, because it's kind of an extensive process waiting. And I don't think it would make an entertaining video to log in every single day and claim. There's no point. There's no point. One day quests are typically the best, but honestly, uh, as I said last time, it just felt like they were dropping less often than they used to. Uh, but that could just be placebo. A lot of people do say that Warner Brothers messes with the chances, right? But there's never any proof for it. And, you know, it's it's going to be chance-based either way. Having three different one-day quests, you're going to get eyes every day. You're at least going to get one or two of them to have eyes in them. If the other one doesn't, so be it, right? So be it. We are going to be using Onslaught Fujin once we get the amount of eyes we need. We're going to fast forward this process. You know what? This is so slimy. I've clicked the repeat button like six times, right? And I've gotten eyes every single time now. The second I try to skip forward, <laughs> I get eyes every single quest. This game just loves teasing me, messing with me. All right, continue. Last quest we just had to do, 266 eyes. We're going to have some leftovers, so it's not very satisfying. It really isn't. Reptile spawns. You have found me. Now prove yourself. Don't tell me what to do. You really think it's difficult to find you? Any right price can find you, Reptile. Seriously. You're not challenging. Okay, so for Fujin, we put Rusty Chainsaw, Basic Attacks, Unblockable Chance, Reduce Power Cost and SP2. Wouldn't you know it? Storm Hat, Power Generation Boost. Okay. And lastly, Soul Medallion, both the 20% Power Generation Boost and reduce power cost. We're gonna get our special attacks like that. Like quick work, clockwork, sorry, not click work, what? He's got 200,000 health, but that isn't gonna matter for a single second. Now, Fujin's an Elder God, so Shang Tsung doesn't actually do anything on this team. He isn't gonna do anything, at least. But look how fast we're getting our special attacks. Oh my God, yes. 
we are fighting pretty pretty much a boss, but just uh, a boss that can't very attack very well. <laughs> oh my God, Fujin's Fujin's gonna have to put out if we want to win this. Uh, we're gonna apply weakened just in case he does get a hit on us, because then we're gonna have a shield plus he's gonna be weakened. That's that's pretty overpowered, not gonna lie, for a basic gold card. All right, so we're gonna use this P2 one more time. That way, like I said, if he does interrupt us with a special attack or anything of that nature, he will be weakened and we'll have a shield on. We should not die. Oh my god! This is insane! I'm actually really impressed right now with how well Fujin is holding up. The weaken lasts long enough so that we can just keep spamming SP2 for the shield. Alright, one more, one more weaken again. Oh my god. He's already 40% uh, of his health down. Remember, we're using a Fusion Zero of this card. 18% hit reduction. <laughs> For freaking Reptile. Oh boy, we're gonna have to use a special attack and have to interrupt them uh, because he was going in for a combo. If you if none of your hits land as a block breaker, you're gonna need to use a special attack to avoid taking damage. Oh my god, 24%. Are we gonna be able to stack to 50? We might be able to, I'm not gonna lie. What the hell? This is the only boss battle in the game without a timer, I swear. All right, we did get interrupted because our game is lagging. Unrelated. Unrelated. It did no damage though, which is something I kind of find surprising. All right, I think I feel like we're doing more and more damage, which would make sense because we have a 30% attack buff. 30 freaking percent. Right, our hits are doing significant amounts of damage. God, Reptile. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my. That does like practically no damage. Remember, this guy is 200,000 health. With the weaken plus shield. Crap does nothing. I think we're gonna use one more attack steal and then make our way up to x-ray. Unless we can not even get there. I don't think we're gonna get there. I think we're gonna have to tag out to high check, tag to high tech Jackie Briggs. We had to tag out to high tech. We had to tag out to high uh, tech Jackie Briggs. We had to tag out to high tech Jackie Briggs because I want to get X ray. I do. Fujin wins <laughs> against a fully stacked boss. Yep, this card is in fact an incredible fighter. I've been getting a lot of comments that Onslaught Fujin is a character that pretty much everyone has been picking up. They just really enjoy playing him, which is, it's wholesome. It makes me really happy to know that there is a new gold card that people are just swarming to get one copy of for free for fun. But yeah, guys, peace out.